Welcome back. Samus gets an e-tag. No, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that too. They have that in Super Metroid or some shit. I think they can fucking one up on me, bitch. I fucking know this shit. Oh my god, what have you done? Holy shit, you released a school of children. You're gonna get sick. You're gonna kill them all. Th those are like the kid, the orphan kids that are like, is it safe out there? They're like the younglings in Order 66. You just murder them, Anakin. Screw the younglings. <laughs> and they're stupid helmets. <laughs> they're dumb helmets, yeah. They're stupid, like, wannabe Kung Lao helmets. <laughs> they're trying to be Kung Lao. Oh, God. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... We need a recharge station soon. Yes, we need a retread station. Hey, a save room will help, though. Save room's good. We're working our way towards... We're gonna need way more missiles. Do you think Ridley is affected by missiles? Oh, yeah. I forget. Have you... Is he... Oh, in Super Metroid, do you use missiles to beat him? You can use... But uh, charge beams actually do better than... Oh, okay. Oh, my God. More missiles. I just can't get over every time we find them because they're just like, they're literally like breadcrumb trails for her to just get through her mission. <gasps> Maybe that's what it is. Map room! Oh, baby! Oh my god, there's so much left. That's pretty cool. Ah! I always liked it when you get the map uh, thing in Doom 2016. Because he. Sixes. Yeah, he just punches it. Sixes. <laughs> Wait, does he? Yeah. I know he punches the elevator, and it's just like din 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 wah din 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 rip and tear rip and tear rip and tear. The best part in that game is the opening to the game. Yeah. Where you go in, um, where you wake up. Yeah, and he's like, no, but what they fear is you. Yeah. And then it, you wake up and you're playing Skyrim. <laughs> hey, you're awake. Dude, you're finally God. awake, dude, dude guy. guy. <laughs> he's, he's the fucking zombie guy. You're awake, dude guy. I was like, oh no! And you're playing Skyrim, but in Doom World on Mars. Don't hurt me, Doom guy. But there's nothing alive because you're on Mars. I, I love Doom 2016. Yeah, it was amazing. It was, it was just amazing. I remember. So, Doom 2016 was great because I think they. No, that was Fallout 4, where Bethesda announced Fallout 4 the same year it was coming out. It's clever goons. Clever goons. But uh, Doom 2016 was like a year before they announced it. Or well, Doom 2016, the best thing about Doom 2016 was the fact that the the music, it was just... Playing with the music and the way it was, it was just amazing. Yeah, Mick Gordon does a great job, and then they... My, my streams got up to... When I was streaming that game, forget it, I had like a ton of people on, because I would have a uh, segment called Sunday Night Slaughter. Oh yeah, you're telling me about that. And it was just basically all violent games, like all the most violent games I could find. Uh, did you ever play Manhunt then? Yeah. What you did? Yeah. Oh shit. I'm just trying to think of the most like controversial games in in the eyes of the civilian. I'm not talking about violent games. Just doesn't matter. It's controversial. Controversial games are like whatever. Did you play Dead Space? Uh, no. I guess Bloodborne counts. It's pretty. Bloodborne, we did. It's pretty, pretty graphic. Um, we did. Uh, pretty scary too. Party Hard played. Oh shit! That game was fun. I wish I played it. I wish I had a computer during that time because I love the. All right, uh, we don't need animation. anymore. Get out of here. What are you talking about, dude? We don't have enough missiles. Oh my god, I, that's right. They really are preparing you. Um, yeah, Mick Gordon really sold that game well. So. He made great music in the second Doom Eternal, but they they dubbed his music down. They like kind of well, no, because he like under delivered or something like that. Because uh, he didn't give enough stuff. time. He was saying, "They're like they didn't they rushed me." I remember that. Well, he I don't know. There's a lot to that story that we don't know. Well, he still makes video game music. Oh yeah. Which I was I don't know why I didn't think he would, <laughs> but I remember he came out. Not out of the closet, maybe out of the music closet of saying like, I'm just gonna release these things. This the co completed version of the Doom Eternal soundtrack. I'm like, I don't know if, <clears throat> if you're able to do that. This is gonna be like another Marty O'Donnell situation with Halo or Destiny. Who's Marty O'Donnell? He's the com he's the composer for Halo, original did he, one. Did he make the one that was like, oh? Yes. <laughs> yes. He 
he's the one. So anyway, he had a huge thing going on because with Destiny, he was the composer for Destiny in the beginning. I think same thing with Michael Salvatore. Yeah. And they didn't pay him enough or something, and he was trying to file a lawsuit. Oh my god. Bitches. Trap. Bitches leave. So just leave. Yeah, Sam has left real quick. She's like, man, I was gonna suck his dick, man. Ridley's my boy. I honestly don't think Samus would ever say that. Well, we haven't played other M yet. <laughs> Which we will one of these days. No, we will not. You're, you're such a fucking anti other M. Fuck that game and everything it stands for. Fuck the police. Fuck the fuck the police. <laughs> fuck the other M police. Get out of here! Your agency is burning! You don't need to be here! This is probably where you plop down if you fuck up. Oh my gosh, Samus, you're burning your agency again! Oh! There you go. Oh, awesome! I forgot you could do that. I forgot you could jump. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta check out Mick Gordon's uh, other music that he does for games. But yeah, Mario O'Donnell is like the same thing. Like, um... So, after he filed a lawsuit, this was like a while ago when Destiny 1 came out in 2014. I don't know if he ever got it resolved or anything, if the lawsuit was just like, bleh, like he didn't win. Um, but he started using, like, Destiny music when he stopped working there, like a couple years ago or last year, and he got a lawsuit against him to, to, take, to stop using their music that he, that he composed, but... He doesn't own the rights to it because he made it under the roof of Bungie, pretty much. So there was like a whole like licensing dispute and shit. And uh, oh no! Oh crap! Oh save room. <laughs> you know how much I love those. You understand how mad I am that I can't get to my missiles? Ah, uh, don't I know it? Oh look at that! Trap children. You should. Nah, it's fine. We'll just have you do a restore point in front of Ridley. That's right, I'm, I'm saying it. Wow, how do we get down there? Wait, what was the point? Murder. Oh, maybe that's the whole point. They're like, ah, oh, well, we want, we want to make the gamer, like, release her frustration. Because they suck, and they fall for the stupidest traps. <laughs> Samus can't run in front of a bug. Ooh, secret. Oh! Ah, see, whoop, whoop. made sense. Fucking, we're not making any sense out of this fucking. Well, maybe, maybe zero missions. The series <laughs> that gets me a, a million subs. No. And I start dubbing over you with my own dub. Oh, that's good. You do that anyway. Team four star Nico WR Doctor Tees. <laughs> oh god, no! I would never. That'd take way too much work. It'd be. There's actually an anime called the Ghost Files that is literally that. Like, the dub team. Mm -hmm. All they were told is that you, like, from um, whatever the company, the studio that was, like, giving them directions, it could have been, oh, shit. It could have been Funimation, for all I know. This is, like, back in the early 2000s. Anyway, mid-2000s. So they, they tell them, like, you can do whatever you want as long as you <laughs> don't change the characters or the story. Other than that, you could say whatever you want. Wow. So, yeah, you could do whatever. So they literally, it's the most politically incorrect show out there, like anime, and I would say show too. Okay. Because they just talk about all kinds of shit, like all the, like, the red flags that people have such an issue with, like abortions, anything political, religion, just all the red flags or whatever. Stuff that make people like, I don't know. Uncomfortable like? Yeah. But it's, it's like, since it's just senseless dubbing and they're just kind of just spitballing pretty much. Hey, look at that. Damn, this game's like really nice to you right now because they know Ridley's going to be a motherfucker. Probably. Um, I only got four super missiles, so. Yeah. So it's a bit forced humor because, you know, they're just improv I'm sure, a lot of the times. Yeah. It's no Shin-Chan. Like, I don't know if Shin-Chan was improv on some of the to stuff. To be a man, you must have honor. Honor, honor and a penis. I love Shin-Chan. <laughs> 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 All right. 
ahead. I think we're here. Mozzie wants to rub booties with me. Durr! <laughs> I'll get like weirded out by the features. All right. All right, hold on one second. Wait, before we get there, we, we got 40 seconds. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, it's oh. the flesh eye. You gotta use the super, super missile. Oh, crap. I think we gotta use the super missile. It might be just, okay, regular one worked. Oh, shit. Here we go. See you next time. See you next time. Wait, so the 40, okay. <laughs>